According to Radio France Internationale and Agence France Press on the 11th of January 1990, Liberian Justice Minister Jenkins Scott had announced at a news conference that day the arrest of 11 or more people in connection with the plot to topple President Doe. Two of them were said to be Liberian Army Battalion commanders, and three captured rebels who spoke at the news conference said that the Army officers had been in constant contact with their leader, Charles Taylor, and had promised arms and ammunition to him. Material and financial support had also been promised by Liberian opposition leaders, who the three rebels said they had met with whilst training in Libya. The three, Augustus Concarnu, Samuel Dan, and George Nouan, said that Charles Taylor had planned that he himself would be president of a new government to be called the National Patriotic Front of Liberia, and his vice president would come from the Nimba, from Nimba County. Justice Minister Scott had also denied persistent rumors of a government hit list, fresh fighting with rebels, and an exchange of gunfire between Liberian and Ivorian border guards, AFP said. Residents of Comple in Nimba County had been evacuated by the army so that the area could be used as a buffer zone in its continued search for rebels, Radio Elwa reported. An army officer was quoted by AFP as saying that anyone found in the area after the evacuation would be considered a rebel and treated as such. The agency called agency cited diplomatic sources in Abidjan as saying that heavy fighting was going on in Nimba County on 10th of January between some 60 remaining rebels and troops. People were also reported to be going hungry in the area. The Ghanaian government was reported by AFP to be planning to send an envoy to Liberia to discuss the fight, the flight of more than 11,000 Liberian refugees into Guinea. In Abidjan, President Houphouet Boignier called a meeting of the party political bureau to discuss the Liberian situation, Radio Ivoirien reported on 11th of January. A communique issued after the meeting said that the political bureau was anxious to dismiss categorically Liberian allegations of Cote d'Ivoire implication in the destabilization plot. Refugees continued to stream in from Liberia, the communique said, and Cote d'Ivoire hoped that peace would soon return to Liberia. However, given the situation there at present, and anxious to safeguard its own security and the sacredness of its borders, Cote d'Ivoire has taken the necessary steps to forestall any possibilities.